Hello, everyone. Uh, you know, I miss coming in here, but with the summer being so hot and it's cooled down now, I found a recipe that I wanted to do um, that I'm sure that everybody's going to love, especially the vegans. Um, and I hope to come in here a little bit more. Now, don't swear I'm going to come in here every day because I'm not, because it gets too much to come in here every day. So I want to, I want to be able to, to make this uh, dairy-free sour cream, which I'm going to make in my Vitamix. Um, I've missed you guys coming in here, but everybody understands why I didn't. Um, things have, you know, transpired earlier that kind of upset the apple cart. So I didn't want to come in here because of that. But um, now I'm going to come in here a little bit more. Maybe once a week I'll do a cooking scope. But I'm not going to do them every day because that just gets to be too much. Um, I haven't had my lunch yet. So this sour cream would be good if I have a baked potato for lunch. So I want, and I'm going to put this in my Vitamix, as you can see right here it is. Um, so invite your friends and followers, those that, that come in here. I'd like to see more people in here because I know people are probably missing me. Um, because I know Alexis gets about 50, 60 people in hers, and I'm lucky if I get half of that. Oh, hi, <laughs> good to see you, Teddy. Good to see you. I was wondering if I was going to do it. Hi, Amber. Good to see you. I was wondering if I was going to do it, but I thought, well, maybe I better because people are going to wonder what happened to me. Did I fall off the face of the earth? <laughs> I know people have told me they have missed my cooking and I thought maybe I better get back to it again. You know, like I said, the summer was really, really hot and I didn't want to do it in the summer where I can roast. So it's cooled down now. Um, we're only 38 outside. So, um, but I still have to be careful of my back. My back, I still got back problems. So if I lean up against the sink, you'll understand why. Um, but I've got everything here for it. Um, and this one takes a few ingredients. I'll tell you what it does take. It takes cashews. It takes uh, coconut milk, full fat coconut milk, which I, which I measured it out right here. Um, now it's, supposed, it's supposed to take fresh lemon juice. I don't have a fresh lemon, so I'll just use the, the bottled juice. Um, two cloves of garlic, and since I have a big clove here, I'm just going to use one clove because it ended up almost like it's two together anyway. Um, one teaspoon of onion powder. Here's the onion powder. And then half a teaspoon of salt, which I'm going to use the sea salt. So, and I'm going to put, like I said, this is going to be mixed in. Now, that being said, you do not have to um, take the cashews and soak them as long as you have a high-speed blender. If you don't have a high-speed blender or a food processor, then you must soak them at least probably four hours or something. Or, or you can soak them in boiling water for 10 minutes. Since this is a Vitamix, it'll break those, those uh, cashews down really well. Um, so I'm looking forward to making this. I found this last week, and I saved it on Pinterest. And I thought I would do it because I thought people would be interested in me making another uh, something I haven't made before. And the vegans out there would appreciate a sour cream that doesn't have any dairy in it because you know all your sour cream in the store has got dairy in it this isn't going to have your dairy you know so um and with that being said i'm about ready to get this started i'm gonna wait for people uh, uh, uh start doing this and maybe people will come in as i'm doing as i'm as i'm going along first of all i'm gonna put the so you can see it a little better put the one cup of, of cashews in there then i'm gonna put in the the coconut milk And I'll get my spatula. So spatula. Spatula to clean this out because you don't want to leave that in there. That's all real good um, milk. And I didn't put this in the refrigerator either. And it's full fat. It has to be full fat. Now, if you're allergic to coconut or something, you could probably use something else. But uh, and somebody was asking about had asked the gal about um, oh thank you. Um, it's good to be here. Somebody had said that their, their family was allergic to cashews. And they wondered if they could use other, other things. And she said, oh, you can use almonds. But almonds, if you put almonds in here, you have to soak those. Um, they, they, you can't do those without, without all soaking them. So I'm now going to put in three tablespoons of uh, fresh lemon. Which, like I said, I don't have fresh lemon juice. So I'm just going to use what I have here. I've just got the, the, the um, bottle. And I'll just put it in here. That gives it that zing that you need. Because you know sour cream isn't sweet. Got my dishwater there, so I'll just put it in there. And um, two small, like I said, two small garlic cloves. And since this is a pretty good size, I'm just going to use one clove for right now. I don't like to get it too too hot because you can you can over overpower yourself with with garlic cloves. 
one teaspoon of onion powder, Thank you for everybody coming in and invite your friends and followers. I hope more come in later because there's uh, not very many in here right now. I'm, okay. And one half teaspoon of salt. <clears throat> I'm going to set this for half a teaspoon. And I still use the Pampered Chef items even though I don't, I don't promote them on here anymore. I don't promote Pampered Chef at all, but I still do use them. So... Um, okay, now you're supposed to add everything to your blender, and then you, and then, uh, I'm going to have to find a container. I think i got a sealed container. I'll have to, but I'll just leave it in here for right now so you can see what it looks like. Okay, i got to get this on tight. Okay, now, we'll turn this on. So I better get it back so it doesn't fall on the floor. Now I'm going to start at one, and then gradually ramp it up. good and mixed because of the cashews. You want to break them down really well. Vitamix usually will break it down. Oh yeah, it looks really good. I'm going to find out. Let me find a container here a minute. Um, see if I can find a container. Don, I'll put it in a, in a bowl of some sort. Uh, let's see. I know what I'm going to do. Look down here and see if I get any containers. Um, I know what I can do. I can probably put it in one of my prep bowls, and uh, I can put it in here, and uh, maybe I can seal it up. That's a little, actually a little big. But I can put it in my prep bowl for now. Let's see. Oh, let's put it in this one. I think that one's too big. These are this. This will be a little big. Prep bowls would work fine for this. A sealed container. Put this one here. Everybody, I love prep. I'm gonna put this one. Little rinse out here. Yeah, that's about that. Get a little... So how's everybody doing today? It's been a long time since I've been in here. I know. I've really been. I've been missing you guys. Hi. Good to see everybody in here. Those that have come in and I didn't say hi to you. Hi. Welcome. And be sure and share this out with your friends and followers. Um, they might want to see how this is made as well. So I'm just gonna put it in my prep bowl because these don't take up a lot of room in the refrigerator. And. Uh, this should be plenty big enough. Probably the cup will be big enough, but I thought I'd just put this in here. Um, wow. When you look at this, wow we. Oh, I'm doing great. Oh, they're, they're going for, oh, I'm sorry about that. Let me put this down so you can see. I'm getting it all over the cupboard. Oh, they're doing fine. They're mischievous as, as ever. <laughs> mischievous as ever. They have their moments. Oh. oh, getting it all over covered, but it's better than that than on, than on the floor. I'll clean it up. Um, bond them, you know, a cook is going to make messes, you know. <laughs> and I haven't, I haven't made messes like this in a long time. Well, I wanted to... I want to do something so I could po post it up on my vegan page. Because I have been posting in there lately and I need to get something posted on my page. Um, and thank you for the super hearts. Whoever gave me the super hearts, thank you very much. I do appreciate that. And I'll have to take a, <clears throat> a spoon and I'm going to have to test this and I'm going to have to see what it tastes like. And I'll let you know. At least that, with that you can get that... Um, you can get it wet. Let me get my um, find my rag and I'll clean my counter off. I don't know. I'm always too, I'm disorganized. Let me taste it this way. Mmm, mm. very good. Mm-hmm. That's a six sour cream. 
This can be can be used for uh, dipping. You can dip uh, can dip your um, vegetables in it. Hi, Damon. Good to see you. Welcome. You can dip your vegetables in it, and anything that you you know push this back. So, I'll have two cups. There's what it looks like. There. <coughs> Hi, Gary. Good to see you. Here's my uh, dairy-free sour cream, and it does taste really, really good. Um, <coughs> for those that just came in, let me tell you what I put in it. Okay, it calls for one cup of raw cashews, and they were completely raw. I buy them at Walmart carries raw cashews. Um, Two-thirds cup of coconut milk, um, and that's the full fat. Three tablespoons of fresh lemon juice, and I didn't have the fresh, so I just used the bottle. Two small garlic cloves, and since I had a great big garlic clove, I just used one. A teaspoon of onion powder and a half a teaspoon of salt. Um, and this is, <coughs> and it tastes really good. It really does. Um, this, doesn't this look, doesn't this look ideal? Um, well, you know, it could probably be used for tacos. I never thought about that. I haven't made tacos in a long time. I might do that for lunch, but I wanted to make a sour cream. Because you know you go to the store and since I'm vegan, all your sour cream has dairy in it. It's not good for you. So I wanted to make a sour cream where I don't have to worry about that. Put this back up. I don't have to worry about that. But this is awesome. I mean, I like it and it come out nice and creamy. The coconut milk makes it that way. Full fat coconut milk and whatever you can find, Thai or any any certain brand you can find will work, work just two thirds of a cup. And of course, put it back in the refrigerator. And you could use it for another batch because this will make quite a bit of sour cream, you know. And be sure you have raw cashews. Like I said, um, unless you use a, you don't have to soak the cashews if you use a high-speed blender. But if you don't use a high-speed blender or a food processor, which I've never heard of a high-speed food processor, but if you don't have a high-speed blender like a Vitamix or, I don't know if ninjas are considered ninjas high-speed or not. But if you don't have a high-speed blender, you're going to have to soak the cashews for a little while. Maybe, it probably would be okay overnight or a few hours. Because if you don't, they're not going to break down. In the Vitamix, they will break down. That happened to be, um, you see none whatsoever. The Vitamix is a power enough, powerful enough blender that it breaks them down without having to soak them. That's why I like the Vitamix so well. It's real good for that. Um, so, uh, uh, hi, good to see all those that are coming in. Oh, awesome. That's awesome. Oh, hi, Linda. You missed me making the, you'll have to go back and watch it, but here's what my, my dairy-free sour cream looks like. Um, it is real good, um, Linda. I used my Vitamix to mix everything in. I used cashews, I took coconut milk, onion powder, garlic, and salt. Oh, you got a diffuser from Amazon? Oh, awesome. I've never used those. I, you know, Amazon is such a good place. I've been start, starting my Christmas shopping and I've been buying things on Amazon for my family for Christmas. Um, so I have to be careful. My daughter might show in. I can't, I can't tell you what I got her, but I got her something really, really nice. I Bought something for the for my grandsons and for my great those of you that may not know I haven't been on here in a while I'm now a great grandmother I was a great grandmother as of October, um, and she periodically uh, the my grandson's wife will periodically post things up in on Facebook so I can have a picture of him. Um, oh, oh, you do, yeah. Uh, yeah, I do. I'm, I'm an Amazon Prime member. So, what I did with my, with my grandson was I bought something for, I bought a few things for the baby, a couple toys for the baby. So, what I did is I, I sent him through Amazon and I put his address in there so it'll go directly to him. Because I don't want to come into me and wrap it up and then send it again. So, so I just, uh, uh, one he gets Friday. I think Friday or Saturday, and the other one he gets on Sunday. I don't know why they're both coming separate, but um, and my daughter's is coming on Friday. Um, it, it's it's simple that way. No, I haven't either. It's it's you know it's sim it's simple that way. Um, I haven't either. What I like about it is 
when the weather gets bad or for a lot of people being in the store. Hi, good to see you. Welcome. I know it's been a long time since I've been in here. But, uh, oh, there's Crunchy Lemon Drop. Hi, sis. Good to see you. Welcome. For those that are wondering, here's my, um, here's my sour cream. Sure, it only calls for half a teaspoon, which isn't very much at all. And I use sea salt, so I don't use regular salt. Oh, yeah, I am. Got me once in a while, but it won't be every day. But here is my, here's my sour cream. Um, it just took a, a cup of cashews, two-thirds cup of coconut milk, which is, has to be the full fat, a teaspoon of your of onion powder, two garlic cloves, but I use one great big garlic clove. So, so I put that in there and a half a teaspoon of salt, and I blended everything up in my Vitamix. And it came out nice and creamy. Look at that. And it tastes really, really good. You can use this probably on tacos. You can use it for veggies. You could take veggies and you could dip them in it. That would be good for that. This is also good on baked potato, which I probably will fix a baked potato for lunch and put this on there. Real good for that. Um, anything that's dairy-free. Yes, it does. Absolutely. Absolutely it does. The things you buy in the store, they're all laced with a lot of chemicals in them. Plus, it's got your dairy in it. And I didn't want it, um, I don't really know, but you got to have it in a tight container. But if you if you eat enough, you know, you. I've got some baby carrots I like to use as munchies. It probably won't last me very long. It doesn't really say how long it, 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 it lasts. But you just keep it in a, in a, I think they said a week maybe. But if you if you got a family or if you're anything like me and you start you start eating with with carrots or a potato or something like I said I'll probably fix me a baked potato for lunch and I'll put this on it and that's gonna be awesome it really will. Um, oh, you can't have much dairy now. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, Tora. Good to see you. Oh my goodness, I didn't know you were in here, sis. Welcome. Good to see you. This this dairy sour cream I just I tasted it. Um, when I got done with it, and it's awesome. It tastes so good. Oh, and it's got lemon juice in it, too. I forgot. I didn't have fresh lemon juice, so I just used this. So it's got lemon juice in it as well. So it's just got a few ingredients, and mix them all up in your blender. Um, and I let it run a little bit, and you can see how creamy it got. See, isn't that nice? And it's a lot better um, than than if, if I uh, used, uh, you know, the the sour cream in the store. The sour cream in the store doesn't taste all that good anyway. And like I said, it's got chemicals in it. I'll put this down a little bit. Maybe so you can see the sour cream just a little bit better. Um, doesn't have chemicals in it. Doesn't have the milk in it, the dairy cause, I mean, stuff. And I, I avoid the milk and I avoid cheese. You know, I avoid that stuff. I don't want to put that stuff in my body because it's not good for you. So when I saw this on Pinterest, I thought, I have got to make this. Uh, Oh, you prefer, I, you know, I've never had Greek yogurt. Um, I really don't care for the taste of yogurt because there you go again. Um, I don't know if the Greek yogurt is dairy, but the regular, regular um, yogurt is dairy. And to me, it's an acquired taste. So I really don't use a Greek yogurt. Um, sour cream to me is a lot better. But if you want to put Greek yogurt on a potato or, um, I think, Amber for a week, but I'm not sure because I don't think it's said. You just put it in a closed container in your refrigerator. And this is the prep bowl from Pampered Chef. And this is the lid that goes with it. This is the two-cup prep bowl. I just put it in here. And I'll probably use it. I'll probably use it on baked potato. You can, like I said, I've got some baby carrots that I can munch on. Um, oh, tastes like sour cream, but better. Okay, okay. Like I said, I avoid... Um, buying things in the store if I can make it myself. I've always wanted to find a, a good recipe for sour cream. And when I saw this on Pinterest, I says, I've got to make this. I've got to come in here and show you people how to make this because I thought you'd be interested. And this is definitely going to go up on my vegan Facebook page. And for those of you who are interested in, in being a member of my vegan Facebook page, um, oh, you wish you did. Those that, that, Want to become members of my vegan Facebook page? Just go on Facebook and search for Karen's Vegan Heaven, and answer the questions that that are I, I've asked. Answer the questions as to how you know who, where, 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 how you met me, and and what your username is. There is my sweetie. Look at the look at the vegan sour cream, sweetie. Look how good it come out. Oh, you like Activia? Oh my goodness. There's my there's my sweetheart. Here's my uh my yogurt. Um. 
Yeah, my daughter just came in. For those of you, um, it is, sweetie. I tasted it. For those that don't know, that have never come in here, um, Laura0475, that is my daughter. Um, she lives in Missouri, and I live here. She just became a grandma in, in October, and I'm a great-grandma. So we're both kind of relishing that we're both. You know, she's a grandma and I'm a great grandma for the first time. Anyway, this sour cream is really good. It took one cup of, of uh, cashews, a two-thirds cup of the coconut um, milk, which is the full fat. Uh, oh, you were, oh, you were, oh, awesome. You got to see Sky. Awesome. Yeah, she was talking to my, my grandson and she got to see Sky. Um, so that, and that's his name, Sky. Is that he's adorable. But anyway, one cup of cashews, three quarter, uh, two thirds cup of uh, your um, coconut milk, uh, two two garlic cloves, but I use one big one, uh, uh, three tablespoons of your lemon juice, a teaspoon of your uh, onion powder, and oh, yeah, I know it's different. Um, we are until today. The, today is supposed to be our last day of lockdown, Damon. From what I understand going on Facebook where our church is going to be opening up again. We've been closed for the last two Sabbaths, but we're supposed to open up again this coming Sabbath. So, but they're still going up some, so I don't know what Kate Brown is going to do. Only time will tell. For As of right now, we're opened up. I just have to keep tabs on it. So we've been in lockdown for two weeks, but I haven't exactly stayed home. But when I do go out, I wear my mask, you know. And if you're anything like me, you're kind of getting tired of wearing masks, you know. But hey, it is what it is. Can't do anything about it, you know. You you got to do what they tell you to do because we are we have a mask mandate here. We've had it since March. So <clears throat> since we have a mask mandate, um, oh, you're staying home. Oh, you know, I don't blame you for that. It's real. You got to be so careful. Um, we haven't had much rain lately. No, we did the other day. We don't have any rain right now. It's cloudy. And it's been quite cold. It's been getting below freezing at night. So therefore, I haven't been getting my walks in because it's too cold to get out and walk the dogs. And poor Sydney, she doesn't like the cold anyway. She'll go outside, just do her, do her job and come right back in. So I don't walk them when it's cold. Um, it's got to be 40 and above before I'll walk them. Actually, 45. It should be. The last I knew it was only 38. So that's still quite cold. But I'll tell you, <laughs> we had such a hot summer. And now, and now I kind of wish it was a little warmer. Um, oh, it is. Oh, that's right. You're, you're in summer right now. Um, I do too. I do too. Um, I miss, I miss the fellowship lunches too. Now we haven't had church the last two Sabbaths. So hopefully this Sabbath we will be open. I could see, um, er, Erlene had sent me a thing on text the other day. She said, well, I see your church is, is opening up. Well, I didn't, couldn't see it. And she sent it to me and, and I went and looked, and sure enough, it's opening up. But I'll keep tabs on it because the pastor will send out an email to that effect. And the secretary will keep us abreast of what's going on. But it'll be good to get back to church again. We don't, you know, we're not, I don't think we're limited. We are right now. Over the last two weeks, we've been limited to 25 people. So that's why I've not been in here periscoping on Sabbath because I didn't go. So, um, oh, thank you. So I just stayed home and I watched it on Facebook because they, they uh, did a Facebook Live video on the church service and I watched it that way. That's the way I did. Now I did the first Sabbath I did did um, broadcast on Periscope, but it works better if I'm in the church. So I decided not to this last Sabbath. This coming Sabbath I'll broadcast again. But it's, it's going to be nice to get back out. We've only been in lockdown since I think November, I think it was 18th, something like that. 16th, 18th, and till December 2nd. So um, it hasn't been too bad, but like I said, she may end up enforcing it, and we may end up going a little bit longer. I don't know, um, and, but I, I just, you know, take each day as it comes, you know, and and uh, we've had a ma we've had a mask mandate here for quite some time. Um, we've had the mask mandate since since COVID started. A lot of places haven't had like my, now my, where my daughter lives in her county, there in Missouri, they just now set up a mask mandate. She said, it's, it's odd to see everybody in the stores now wearing the masks. Um, yeah, I heard that. But the thing of it is, I don't want to be told that I have to wear, I have to have the vaccine. I don't want to be told that I have to take the vaccine. Now, there are some airlines. Um, Forerunner had posted something on Twitter 
uh, Quintus Airlines, I think he said. I think that's in Europe. Um, something about they can't fly on that plane unless they have the vaccine first. But the vaccine hasn't come out yet. Um, I don't know. They say there's a lot of side effects to it. And the thing of it is you have to take two doses. And well, who would want to do that? Wow. <laughs> that's right. I, exactly. I think it's going to be a lot worse to take the vaccine if you didn't take it at all. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and you'll be the oh you'll be the first in line for it you know but I don't want I don't think any of us should be forced to take take the vaccine uh okay sweetie all right talk to you tomorrow or maybe later if we text or anything um I you know I don't trust it either I don't trust it for the simple fact it's gonna you, like somebody said it's gonna have poison in it it could be a lot worse than if you didn't take the vaccine at all. And I think if you're cautious enough and you stay your distance, you wear your masks, you don't have to worry. And I live alone and I don't have to worry about anybody here um, giving me the, the, the virus. Now, I did go to my son's for Thanksgiving, but you're only allowed to have, um, I think it was six people here in Oregon. You're allowed to have six people, two households. So there was just five of us, them four and me. So it worked out really well, um, and I enjoyed it. And the same thing, thing for Christmas. We can't have very many. Um, but to be forced to take a vaccine, that's not something I agree with. I don't want to be controlled, and that's the problem. The government is starting to control us now, and we know that's what's coming. We're all going to be controlled eventually with the New World Order. So I guess we have to deal with it. But I don't want to be told, you have to have the vaccine. That makes no sense to me, you know. Um, if you're a frontline worker, if you're a nurse or doctor, I can understand it. But still, I don't see why they require you to have it. If it's your conscience telling you not to do it, then they shouldn't force you to do it. I mean, after all, doesn't God give us free will? And they should give us free will too. They should not tell you that you have to have the you have to have the vaccine before you can do this and do that. Eventually, it's going to get to the point where every airline, I'm afraid, is going to force you to take the vaccine in order to fly their planes. Well, I don't go on planes now anyway, so I don't have that to worry about. But I think it's absolutely horrible that there's so much control going on. You know, I know people say, have to wear masks is control. Yeah, it is. But it's also um, for more protection because our masks protect other people. Their, their masks protect us. So as long as everybody's wearing masks, you stay six feet apart, there shouldn't be any problem. Um, <laughs> you just, staying in St. Louis then, or yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're right. I don't, I don't fly that much anyway. I haven't flown in, in a long time and I don't intend to fly. So, um, if I, you know, I won't have to worry about having to have the vaccine to fly on a plane because I refuse. I, re I just refuse. And I think that we should all, you know, stick by what we believe and not tell, you know, not let them tell us you have to have the vaccine. I don't want any poison in my body either. You know, I'm trying to keep my my um, body up to par, you know, with and try to keep myself, uh, you know, uh, dehydrate or not get dehydrated, but keep myself hydrated, you know, and do what I need to keep myself, you know, perfect. Well, not perfect, but, you know, better than I used to be. And if you put poison in your body, you're doing more harm than good. And that's the same thing with the shots. I think it's the same thing. They give you a shot, and if you have side effects, which they say the vaccine has side effects, and then you got to take another dose, I think 28 days later, that's crazy. Oh, oh, man. Oh, oh you could put it in your jail? Well, yeah, they could, but I would say, well, just take me to jail because I'm not going to be forced to take the vaccine. How are they going to know? They can't come to everybody's door and ask them, have you had the vaccine? That's just way too much policing. They can't do that. Millions of people, how are they going to do that? So they're never going to know. I think it's a totally unfair. Um, yeah, they, you're right. They don't. Hi, Crystal. Good to see you. They don't put actual criminals in jail. And to me, it's not criminal not to want the vaccine. They might consider it criminal, but... It's it's not it's not criminal to me. I just choose not to take it because I want to keep my body um, pure, pure for God. And putting poisons in there is not you're not keeping your body pure for God. 
you know, you're putting all kinds of, um, that's exactly right. It should be our choice. That's what I'm saying. They're, they're going to force people to start taking it. And that's where I have a problem with it. They're not going to force me because I'll say, no, I refuse to take the vaccine. Um, I really don't want it. I don't feel I need it. I'm the type of person that I very seldom ever get sick. I'm how oh, JFJ. Good to see you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you there, Linda. I, I understand that completely. I feel the same way. Um, that to force anybody into something that you don't particularly agree with or your or your beliefs are such you don't agree with it well then why bother with it you know um here's my here's my vegan sour cream or dairy free sour cream um uh junk junk food junkie what it what it has in it is one cup of cashews two thirds cup of your coconut milk which is the um fat the high fat fat content you don't want the light you want the full fat um, it's got three tablespoons of lemon juice in it. Um, supposed to have two, two garlic cloves, but I put one big one. And then it's got, um, onion powder in it. Uh, it's got three tablespoons of lemon juice and one cup of, or one teaspoon of onion powder and a half a teaspoon of salt. Um, oh yes, yes. Ah, yeah. That's terrible. You know, I, I, I just don't feel that, that the, vaccine is going to help us all that much not if you have to have two doses and you get a side effects the side effects can be worse than if you didn't take it at all i mean you you know the doctors will give you prescribed medication for you for some such illness you might have or whatever and you start taking it long enough you're going to have side effects well the side effects are worse than, the, than what you're taking so i don't understand why they do that why you're forced to take something that that you know is going to be harmful to you. I won't do it. I, I just refuse. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say no on the vaccine. What other people do is their business. If they choose to take it, I'm not going to condemn them for it at all because everybody has a, has a right to choose what they want to do. I know there's going to be a lot of people that are going to take it because they're afraid. I suppose those that are around a lot of people, maybe have a lot of people in their family, might be a good thing maybe, but I live alone. To me, I don't need it. Because I'm not around anybody except when I go to the stores and then I'm, I'm six feet away because I'm wearing my mask at all times. I'm not going anywhere without my mask because we do have a mask mandate here. In fact, Walmart, you can't go in Walmart without a mask. They'll, make, they'll send you home and send you right back out if you don't wear it. Uh, oh, no, really? Your hair falls out? Oh, good gracious. Now, why in the world would they make a vaccine that... that um, strict you know and with that that chemicals in it that can hurt you oh my goodness and make your hair fall out i mean i know the ones that have chemotherapy they lose their hair but how, losing your hair from a vaccine that makes no sense at all wow <laughs> well i know for sure now that i'm not going to take it i absolutely not i don't i don't want to be bothered with no, with no vaccine and i don't want to take it the first time and then have to turn around 28 days later and take it again that really, really sucks. And I don't know why you have to take two doses. Did they, have they ever explained why you have to have two doses? Because I've never heard. I've never heard why you have to take two doses. I thought it would be strong enough just to give you one dose. If, I mean, if you lose your hair from taking it, why in the world would you take it another and then 28 days later, whatever the case might be, I think it's 28 days, and maybe your hair fall out the rest of the way. Holy cow, who wants to be bald? Oh, my goodness. Oh, one is for, oh, well, like I said, it's not going to be available, I think, until, I know they're supposed to be, I think, for the for the uh, ones that are in the uh, health industry this month, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's April when the rest of it's available. Uh, oh, just one. I can imagine there's quite a few. <laughs> oh, there are a lot of vaccines that have multiple doses. Oh, my goodness. You know, I... I have not had a shot in, oh my goodness, years. Um, and you know, I've never been um, healthier. I don't get sick that much. Um, I've learned, you know, how to eat properly and everything. Oh, so I, I don't feel that, that, that that's beneficial to me. And like I said, with me living alone, it's even, even less. I don't need it when I'm living alone. So thank goodness I'm not, 
I, I don't think I don't think I need it. And you know, a lot of people probably feel like I do. They don't need it. And I think should probably over half the population is going to say, "Forget your vaccine." <laughs> anyway, I'm glad I could come in here and do this because I'm gonna have to uh, have to eat my lunch and get my lunch made in a little bit. Need it. Uh, <coughs> Oh, yeah, you're probably right. Oh, man. Well, like I said, that's completely government control. Well, all I know is if Biden, uh, um, I, I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, and that to me is not right. That is not right. You can't make it mandatory. It's, it's just, it's, to me, it's not fair because I won't do it. I refuse to do it. They're giving, uh, they're giving injections at in Walmart. They're giving shots. I think they'll probably, um, for flu and stuff, and I, I just walk right past. I won't even stop. Um, yeah, I know. And the, and the sad thing of it is, should Biden get in there and Trump does not overturn the, turn the results, um, there's a lot that he's going to do that none of us are going to be happy with. You know, he's going to probably force this vaccine on us and and force us to wear masks all the time and lock us down for a very long time, and it's going to be absolutely terrible. I don't want to be controlled by anybody. You know, to me, our country has turned out to be a socialist country, not a democracy. We used to be a democracy years ago, but we're a socialist country now. We're, you know, they do everything but let you make your own choice. And they should let you make your own choice. You know, that's the way I feel about it. Anyway, I'm going to hold this up for the, well, the, as I close this, but I hope you all have a great and marvelous day. And until we meet again and you, find, you hear that whistle and, and you all come in, I hope you have a great and marvelous day. Take care, God bless, and bye-bye.